Hey y'all, it's Tierney and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy watching my Carnival Solo Cruise vlogs as much as I enjoy making them. This video today is going to be all about the Carnival Cheers package. Why did I purchase the Cheers package and why I will not in the future. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. All right, y'all. So there are four reasons on why I purchased the Carnival Cheers package. The first reason is the cruise was short. So I was on a four day cruise from Mobile to Cozumel and I had already been to Cozumel before. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be in port. I'll be on the boat the majority of the day. I can actually utilize the package where is the cruise was longer with more port days where I'll be out sightseeing, exploring. There wouldn't be much of an opportunity for me to use the cheers package on those days. So because of the short cruise, port I had already been to, it made sense to try the package during this time. All right, so the second reason I purchased the Carnival Cheers package was because I was on a solo trip in a stateroom by myself. So if you are not aware, uh, if you're on a cruise, every adult in your stateroom has to also purchase the Cheers package. Well, I was the only adult in my stateroom, honey, so I didn't have to worry about, you know, anyone else's budget or if this person drank or not. It was just me and my decision, um, you know, purely. So that was the second reason I decided to go ahead and purchase the package. All right, so the third reason why I decided to purchase the Carnival Cheers package was because my cruise was really inexpensive. So I cruise while there are still some COVID restrictions and regulations and the cruisers are still trying to get their footing. And some people can cruise because you have to vaccinate or let jazz. So the cruise was very inexpensive. So I was able to throw in a little extra because, you know, if you cruise damn near free, you don't feel as bad spending an extra two, three hundred dollars on the cheers package. And I actually think I spent a little bit more on the cheers package than I actually did on the cruise or it's probably balanced itself out. So very inexpensive cruise. It just made sense at this time to go ahead and purchase the Cheers package. The fourth reason why I purchased the Carnival Cheers package was because I wanted to try new cocktails. So you know, honey, when you at home, baby, you go to the bar and you get what you always drink because ain't nobody got time to be wasting their money on stuff they know they gonna like. <laughs> they not gonna like. So, you know, the rule in college was if you pour it, you drink it. And that's one rule I still stick with, baby. If you buy it, you drink it. We do not waste alcohol. So, because I knew I had that 15 max uh, drinks per day, I knew I was never going to hit 15. So, um, I could just try something that I really want to try or maybe never had and see if I, you know, like it, enjoy it. And there were some drinks that I tried that I really liked, and there were some drinks that I tried that I didn't really like, and I left them puppy sitting right there on the table. So that was the fourth reason on why I purchased the Carnival Cheers package, just trying new things. Why will I not purchase the Carnival Cheers package again? A very, very, very simple answer. I got tired of drinking. Yes, 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 yes. So I like to say I am a social drinker. I may have a glass of wine or two during the week after work, and then I may go out on Saturday or Sunday with my friends and have, you know, two cocktails, take it on back home. So my break even point for the cheers package was about six or seven drinks per day. I hit those six or seven drinks per day, but by the end of the cruise, my body was like, no. <laughs> she was through, she was shut down, and it took me like a week to recover when I got home from all of the alcohol that I did drink. So, do I regret purchasing the package? No, I don't. I had a great time, you know, meeting people at the bars and experiencing new things, but just purchasing it in the future, future, uh, it's going to be a no for me because I was basically drinking to not waste my money, if that makes sense. So there are definitely some days where I should have just been like, you know what? I'm going to 
just chilled today. Bring me a cranberry juice, please. Instead, I was like, nope, bring me a cosmopolitan because I got the cheers package. <laughs> so, yes, I had a great first time experience with the cheers package. Um, if you can throw them back and your body is used to it, go for it. But if you are more like me, there may just be some days where you really just don't want to drink and you may feel obligated to using the cheers package so just think about it if you go hard one night like for me hard is six or seven drinks per day if i drink six or seven drinks per day i need to be tapped out the next day and baby mama just kept drinking honey <laughs> well that's all i got girl <laughs> please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you in the next one yeah.